Hey friends, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a review video that I'm doing because many of you wanted to know my opinion on these products. So uh, I went to Sephora and I bought the whole line that was appropriate for my hair. Yes, it's going to be a hair review. Okay, so uh, one of the products I've had for a while and uh, was using it even before um, anybody asked my opinion. And um, the line is Briogeo. And the mask I've been using for a while, I actually, um, I probably have been using this since late November. So uh, I have a really good opinion on this. And then most recently, and this is a first impression video, I would have done this on camera, but because I still have stitches in my hand from my surgery and I still have uh, very limited use of my hand, I can only talk to you and show you the results, okay? Because there's only one way I can get my hair right now and it is straight like this, which you all know is not my preferred way to wear my hair. But, you know, until this old claw paw comes back to life, uh, this is what you're going to get. A ponytail that Lou put in for me or my hair like this. Uh, anyway, so we are going to be talking about the Briogeo line. And I bought for my hair type. Now I have um, color treated hair, obviously. And I also have very dry hair by nature. My hair has been dry my whole life, even before I would color. I do not have straight, smooth hair hair like this. I have hair that is very wavy with frizz. It is not a beautiful curly hair wave. It is a wavy frizz. And my hair is definitely affected by the weather. And in the winter time, I get a lot of flyaways because I'm constantly coming in from the freezing cold to the heat. So, um, Shampoo and conditioners are very important to me. Anyway, I ended up picking up the Briogeo Rosarco uh, shampoo and conditioner. This is their repair line. They have probably four or five different lines. I also picked up the charcoal uh, scalp shampoo and conditioner, but I did not want to use it because I just had my hair colored yesterday. So I did not want to use the charcoal on my hair. So I ended up getting this, uh, using just this for today's video, and I will let you know in future videos about the charcoal. So this morning I decided I was going to use it, and I, I was very successful with my one paw because I can't do any of this yet with this hand. Um, I can get it wet. I don't have to wear a Band-Aid on it. There, um, and the thumb is very, very sore, and um, I just can't do a lot of that. But I, So I succeeded with one hand. Now. Let's talk about smell first because that's a very important thing to people. This fragrance, and it's interesting because I had my niece when I was in Florida, I took this mask with me and I had her use it and she had a totally different um, view of the scent. Now she's somebody who suffers from migraines. I have a super sensitive sniffer. That's not always a good thing. It's a good thing if there's gas in the house or if there's a fire. So now this, it's a very, um, it's a very fresh smelling shampoo and conditioner. My niece thought that the mask was very strong in scent. I do not, uh, I don't even smell it on my hair right now. And this morning I did the whole system so that you could see how everything worked together. So depending now, if you're somebody who suffers from migraine, this may trigger you. It didn't give her a migraine, but she could definitely smell it. For me, it has a very fresh, clean scent. Okay, All right, so, so now let's talk about price because I have my receipt here. For the Briogeo Rizarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray, this is $20. And then the conditioner is $24. And this is for an eight ounce. And the leave-in conditioner is five ounce. And then the shampoo is $24. $4, okay? And the charcoal mask that I bought, I didn't realize it was this much, was $42. That's a lot of money for a shampoo. So that, and that comes in a tub like this. So that one is eight ounces in a tub. And this is the mask that I bought a while ago. This is the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I'm going to say it was somewhere in the $30 mark. But anyway, I do like this. Okay, so now let's talk about what we get from the shampoo. Um, it comes in um, a nice packaging and it has a flip top 
and this, the plastic is easy to squeeze. If I had the use of my right hand, I would have had no problem. What I found about this is I overused it slightly. Now I must point this out. If you're someone who uses a lot of product, when you use a sulfate shampoo, you may say, well, this isn't even giving me any lather. You usually have to do a second cleanse because your first cleanse is removing all the gunk from your hair, which is preventing this product from actually having any type of lather. Now, now this does have a lab lather at second wash. Now I got my hair colored yesterday and my girl puts product in my hair. I don't use product. So I did get a good lather the first um, around my scalp area, but my ends didn't lather up as nicely. So I did a second uh, cleanse with it and I got a great lather, but you don't need, now I have a lot of hair, my friends, a lot of hair, you know this, I'm like um, a beast with hair. I, I really overused this. I used about a quarter amount. I don't think I need a quarter. I think in between, maybe a nickel amount is all you really need because you're going to just take it in your hands, lightly touch it, and then touch it all over and just start massaging. And you get a really nice creamy lather. I am so, one that likes even a sulfate free to give me a little bit of lather. This one did not disappoint. It was really, really nice. And like I said, the smell is very fresh for me. So then I moved on to the conditioner because for conditioner, I look for a few things. I want a conditioner that immediately detangles because if you don't detangle, you're going to cause breakage in your hair. And if you've been watching me for a long time, you know that I'm somebody that I take a wide tooth comb in the shower once I put my conditioner on and I comb through to make sure that I have no snarls for when I get out of the shower. And this one here was amazing. It immediately detangled. So I really, really did love that. Now with conditioners, I always go through them a little bit more because you do have to use a little bit more of the conditioner. What I did with this one is I went ahead and did just a small section of my hair with the conditioner to see how it detangled and it really did it well. But I wanted, and I put it all over my scalp area because I don't necessarily need a lot of masking up here because my hair is very healthy up here. It's from like here down that I do all my masking. So then I went in with my mask and for the mask, I take about, I'd say a good tablespoon and a half of mask because I have a lot of hair and I usually will just coat my hand and just run it through the strands. And this also will allow me to go through with a comb. Never ever put a brush through your wet, tangled hair ever because when your hair is wet you stretch it it snaps it breaks so you always want to use a really good detangling conditioner and you want to really start from the bottom and just comb through it so i did like the conditioner and i do like the mask now the reason why i use them all to together today is because i do not like anything that i feel in my hair as far as product i don't like anything that weighs my hair down or prevents it from being full and fluffy like i really like it and so I decided I was going to use all of them to see if they weighed my hair down and they did not. So when I got out of the shower, I wore my turby towel. I usually will allow my turby towel to, towel to absorb all of the extra moisture from my hair. I never rub because that just creates friction and frizz. So I squeeze all of that out. I wrap it in the turby and then I just leave it and I brush my teeth, do all those things. And then I come back. So I took my hair out of my turby and then I sprayed it and I gave it a good spray of the Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. It's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. This is my hair with no oils, no uh, split end mender on it, nothing. Because um, the only products I use, you know, I use an oil uh, before I blow dry my hair and after. And I also put on a split end mender just on the ends so that my split ends they you know, stay intact for the day. Um, but I don't use any mousses or anything else like that. So this was fabulous. So I would have to say on a scale of one to 10, outside of the price, I would give this an eight. And it would get a 10 if it wasn't so expensive. But 
It's not really as expensive as some, but it's more expensive than what you can buy in the drugstore. And I realize that for some people, every single penny counts. So this is a fabulous, fabulous line. I have absolutely no complaints about this particular formulation. I cannot speak for the rest of them, but Briogeo has my vote and I will continue to use these products. Love them. The mask, like I said, let me try to get this open. I can't, I don't know if I, I can get, there I got it, okay. This one here, I have used half this tub and I will get another one. Now, smelling it now compared to the shampoo and conditioner, it does have a stronger scent. It, there is a different scent to it. It smells the same, but it's stronger. So maybe my niece is onto something there, okay? So let us know in the comments if you've been using any of the formulations from the Briogeo line, how you feel about them. Um, I'm really excited to try the charcoal. I just didn't want to use it on freshly colored hair because um, I didn't know if the charcoal would be a little uh, abrasive and pull some of my color out. And I have a hard enough time keeping my gray covered. So uh, let us know in the comments what formula you're using. Do you really like it? Is there a, a product that we should all try? Let us know. We love reading about what you love also. All right, so thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We are living life here. Go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.